if you hold resentment, then you might as well be tethering yourself to a rock that's going to the bottom of the ocean. Feels like you're drowning. How can I feel good when I still hold resentment against my parents? Hmm. Well, the answer is you can't. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but that's the crux of everything we've been speaking about. That if you hold resentment, then you might as well be tethering yourself to a rock that's going to the bottom of the ocean. Feels like you're drowning. It, it severs you from all your resourcefulness, severs you from all your creativity, severs you from all your divinity and all of the love that you are. Remember, Forgiveness is the answer to everything. It reconnects us with all of our natural resources and lets us begin to experience that on a day-to-day -day basis until it awakens us fully to the truth of who we are, that we were never dropped. So can you see, we drop ourselves when we don't forgive. So if you feel that you hold resentment against your parents, what you're really doing is pretending that you're not yourself. I also want to say something about this for everyone, that I truly believe and see that every generation is more evolved and more capable of advancement than the generations before. We've always been taught to respect our parents. Great, wonderful thing. I'd say just love your parents, no matter who they are or what they're doing much easier than saying respect them because that's confusing on certain levels when they do things or say things that don't feel worthy of respect, but love them, love them and never stop loving them. But don't forget that you came in to evolve this place in the situation that you came into. So if you came into a challenging situation within a cha challenging family dynamic, you are the solution. Remember that you came here to awaken others to their true self. But you can't do that unless you're already connected to who you are. So if you're holding resentment against your parents, that's a dream, an impossible dream of separation that's very formidable and very flimsy. It's a veil over the face of the divine, which they are, they forgot. If you forget and they forget, that's a shit show. If you remember when they forgot, now all of a sudden, somebody has a way out of the mayhem and the problems and the pain. So just remember, if you came into a challenging situation, it's because you're a big, bright soul. You came in the solution. You chose that situation and that family dynamic because you knew you could awaken them. Again, you might have known it when you were outside of this physicality and when you came here and slapped down that vulnerable baby body, it felt like, what did I do this for? because you forget, but we came here to remember who we are. And these situations, especially the most challenging ones are constant reminders that you better remind yourself you're something more. You want to align with something more, the truth of who you are, the divinity of who you are. And that is something that can never change and can never be threatened. And you have never been dropped. So here you are in the situation, reminding yourself on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe if you feel like you still hold this resentment, but it's time to give that up, to be able to connect with all those resources and the beauty and the graces and the, and the situations that are ready to come and manifest before you that connect you even more. And then from all of that overflow of grace, you can pour some of that beautiful gifts of grace onto them in a benevolent way so that they start to see that they are divine as well. But remember, you came here to evolve the situation. You are the answer you seek, the true you. Go inside, connect your heart, connect your mind, connect all of your soul to the truth of who you are. And that's the answer to every challenge and every painful situation.